The former headhunters of Northeast India once wore their tattoos with pride. Each marking was related to a military success with the highest honor bestowed when an enemy's head was brought back to the village. But artists and tattoo researchers in the state of Nagaland say the ancient tradition is vanishing as young people move further away from the brutal practice. BBC Papa followed Mo Naga, a popular Nagaland tattoo artist and researcher, to the village of Felungre to meet an 85-year-old former headhunter. See, the Nagas are basically they are warriors. They have been settling on the hilltops of northeastern India. My grandfather, my grandmothers in the villages who have tattoos, uh, their tattoos were mark of their pride, their mark of their achievement, uh, which have been uh, uh, so wrongly misinterpreted, and they feel kind of shame. Yeah. I came across uh, not just the tattoo tradition of the Naga people, but later I came to know that India as a country has the most diverse tattoo tradition in the world. The head hunting and the tattooing of the Nagas were closely related. Uh, 67 tribes are there in Nagalim. So the Naga villages were constantly at war with each other. When you take a head and bring it to your village, you are bringing in extra energy to your people. Oh, Mitare <laughs> Forefather time de hi itu jonum bra itu kuri aha bra itia bi itu tu sob manu bra ekta sign tu major kaute follow kuri thagile tu sob manu ni mete hobona ji na harai tibo laka itu phapnas and you